بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing we'll talk about the extended acls like in the previous uh, concepts we have talked about the standard acls now there are some limitation with the standard acls standard acls generally uh, filters only based on the source address whereas it does not match a specific destination address so that is one kind of limitation uh, but let's say if you want to uh, match a specific traffic based on the destination or based on the services then we will be using extended acls so we can call these extended acls as advanced acls and the standard acls can be referred as the basic acl kind of thing so again the extended acls can be named or numbered we can identify the rules and we can define that any number so if i'm using a number then that number can be in the range of 100 to 199 or 2000 to 269 in, in a specific ios versions so you can use any of this range normally we use this range or it can be a named also again we'll talk about named acls in a separate section as i said again the advantages of the extend acls as we discussed we can filter based on the source ip as well as the destination ip so inside the syntax we are going to mention what is the source address and this source address again can be one single host or one specific subnet okay and also we are going to define the destination address and that destination address again can be one single host or one specific network or subnet all these things so these addresses can be either a source or destinations we can match and additionally we can we need to specify the protocol category so we'll talk about these protocol categories like whether it is a tcp protocol or udp protocol category or icmp protocol now the protocol category we need to decide based on the service what you're going to select because at the at the transport layer basically let's say if you want to deny the ftp traffic the file transfer pro file transfer then basically it comes under the tcp protocol so we need to define the category here and also we need to define the specific service name or we can define the specific service port numbers so with the help of extended acls we can match a selected services and as per the requirement either we can permit or deny so if you say permit it is going to permit that specific service from that selected source and to that selected destinations so we can define the source destination and also a specific service can be defined and can be filtered so this is one of the major uh, benefit or the advantage we get with the extended acls where with the with the with, with whereas in the case of standard acls we cannot do these things so the standard acls only matches the source so we cannot match the destination address we cannot uh, specify the services in the standard acls so again this is what the same thing so inside your ip header normally you, you generally have the source and destination addresses so it's going to check those things and also it is going to check the protocol category and the service options basically these options what type of protocol category it is and this is the same thing protocol category here and in inside that again we have a specific service options so it's going to check those things okay so the same thing here as i said with the help of extended acls we can specify the source address as well as the destination address even we can define the protocol category and that particular service in which protocol category and of course the service whether you want to deny the HTTP traffic or FTP traffic or or ICMP traffic or whatever the traffic you want, you need to specify either the name or the port numbers.